do this every day. Please take a look at your hands. Have you thought about what kind of information it contains? It is known that the palms on human hands are believed to have a fortune-telling future. But how about your fingerprints? What kind of information do they contain? Application of fingerprint finds its wide use in forensics and business. However, how about the future of fingerprint technology? I will tell you more about it today. So, um, actually, the human being's fingerprint contains as much information as our physical DNA. Every day I went to school and I saw security guards keeping records of visitors on paper. I saw students entering the building using their plastic cards. And I thought, why so many cards are being lost by students and why so many paper is being wasted? Because plastic ultimately becomes toxic and paper ultimately becomes waste. So I started searching for the most sustainable technology that is possible. And it was right there, fingerprint technology. The world today is highly concentrated on the concept of efficiency and security, yet it tends to forget one of the most important aspects of our daily life, which is the environment that surrounds us. Fingerprint technology uh, works very, in a very interesting way. So um, I started searching this topic as part of my research in school, and I developed it in the university. When a person puts their fingerprint on the scanner, the, uh, the light travels to the blood vessels, and sensor absorbs re-radiated light in different patterns. And this changeless pattern creates the fingerprint image. The, humans, uh, the skin on human fingers has uh, certain friction ridges. And a point where friction ridge dispatches in multiple directions is called the minutia point. So the system creates a template in the database where it stores not the fingerprint image, but the numerical value of the minutia points. And that is encrypted information, your private data. Uh, why is fingerprint technology reliable? Well, the interesting point is that the system does not only measure the location of your minutia points, but it also measures the distance between these uh, imperfections. And dis every, uh, disregarding the angle or the shifting at which you put your fingerprint, the distance remains the same. But the question is, how is it sustainable? Well, um, one fully grown tree requires 30 years to grow. One acre of fully grown trees provide 18 people with oxygen. And we have millions of trees cut down to produce cash and paper. However, biometrics-based time clock software will keep the attendance of people can contribute to increasing environmental awareness and positive externalities to our environment. Also, there are 6 to 17 billion plastic cards produced per year because of increasing consumer demand for the credit cards. However, plastic biodegrades in uh, 500 years, and it contains PVC, which is not degradable. And a uh, fingerprint recognition system can be used uh, as a substitute technology for the credit cards. Uh, it is permanent, it is not temporary, and it can be utilized. Um, how can it be useful for you? You have around five to 10 plastic cards in your pockets right now. You memorize from three to five passwords in average. However, fingerprint is a genetic level of security because in today's world, we are so vulnerable to security, passwords, encryption is a must for us. And it's true. Uh, the fingerprint, which is actually the genetic level of security, it's like your natural code. Um, can be used as a substitute technology and can ease in our lives. You cannot forget it in, at home, in bank, or in the office. It's always there. It's always with you. And it's personal to you. However, fingerprint is actually part of our private data. And it is very important to have a secure storage for this private data. And only it can be shared with the consent of the owner. Uh, in 500 BC, fingerprints were used for person's signature. 
In fact, Babylonians used fingerprints to record business transactions on clay tablets. Egyptians used fingerprints to uh, differentiate people of merchants of good reputation and bad reputation. Uh, today, fingerprint uh, manufacturers offer legal identity registrations for rural areas, for registering population of rural areas in Asia and Africa. So they provide registering through the government database and thereby offer the legal human rights to people. Fingerprint finds its wide application. It, is, it contributes to environmental sustainability because it because of, it contributes to resource efficiency, it minimizes environmental impact, it contributes to operational efficiency and built environment because it increases the safety of stakeholders of, in physical areas. <clears throat> I also have a mathematic interest in the fingerprint technology. Because I used to play chess with my dad, it developed my statistical approach to things. So this system actually uses statistics when making decision whether two fingerprints match or they do not. So as forensic guidelines stay, uh, say, there should be minimum of 12 minutia points to say that the two fingerprints are the same. And I did some statistical tests, hypothesis testing, and some experiments, and the probability of having the same fingerprint with somebody else is this number. So it's almost zero. But it does not mean that they are super unique, because if the world population exceeds a certain value, then the similarity increases, and the probability of mismatch also increases. So it's not like the fingerprints uh, of, of two different people cannot be the same, but um, in certain conditions, this is actually vice versa. And it is important to consider the technical aspect of it. Because when we take 12 minutia points, it's very close to zero. But when we take even more parameters into account, up to 16, 22, and more minutia points, the probability of mismatch tends to decrease, as seen on this graph. And also, as population of the, world's increase, of the world increases, the other parameters of fingerprints can be taken account. Not only the distance between the minutia points and their location, but also the uh, physical other characteristics on our fingerprint image. Also, the fingerprint is not only about security and sustainability. Fingerprint can actually bring us much more. We just do not know what to expect from it now. Because fingerprint is our biometric data, we can assume that in the future it will be helpful with further new tools of analysis of this biometric data. Let's take a look in the history. Uh, for instance, the uh, blood test. Erythrocytes were discovered in, uh, in 17, 1700, in 1600, and the history of the blood test is actually only 100 years old. Initially, it was used for simple reasons, but now it provides us the fundamental analysis of our human organism. That is, we can learn about our potential health risks, we can learn about our complex diseases, we can learn about bacteria, viruses, allergies, and etc. based on the blood test. And the history actually repeats itself. The history repeats itself, and we can see this trend in biometrics. Um, so that's why the biometrics is not only about security and sustainability, but it also can give us much more. Assume uh, social networks like Facebook or Google uh, provide the targeted advertising based not on the likes of you and your friends, but based on your genetic potential, based on, your, based on the analysis of your biometric data. For example, if a person has potential uh, disease in problems in respiratory system, and uh, Facebook offers an ad where you can see the certain doctor before it becomes urgent to see him for treatment. Or another case, uh, suppose a student is graduating soon and has to choose upon their specialty, their university degree, and they don't know how. And in such case, the social network can throw an advertisement of some business school or um, analytics courses in that 
geographical area. Given that, that person has a genetic potential in that sphere. This way, social networks will learn about our genetic potentials. They will help us to develop them. Uh, they will recognize these uh, diseases, uh, genetic potential, and other things about us. They will predict, based on that information, the consumer behavior, and they will make profit based on that. How does it help to human beings? Well, actually, the analysis of such biometric system and its potential value that it can bring to us will help us, not to, will help us to secure our savings accounts, to secure our bank transfers, will help us to secure from complex diseases. It will also not just help, but develop these things within us based on the individuality of our selves, based on our biometric data and based on our genetic potential. It is fair to expect in the next 10 years the development of such tools that will allow for the analysis of the biometric data. And this will, will should serve us good because we will learn more about ourselves. We will see more and we will find out more. So biometrics data, only with proper system design, strong cryptography, and security can claim its brick promises. On the one side of the moon, biometrics is about forensics. But on the other side of the moon, biometrics is actually about the human development. For today, biometrics is a sustainable technology. Fingerprint technology is sustainable. However, what should we do? Perhaps we should look at our hands more closely. Thank you for your attention.